On the table today at Squirrel Stampede, I'm catching up with one of my favorites, Bakugan. It's Bakugan Legends. Hey everyone, I am Dan. Thank you for joining in today. This may be the most Bakugan we've ever opened at once. The 2020 Squee Bakugan Legends line has some really new interesting Bakugan, including the Nova. More light up Bakugan that light up when they're triggered. Very interesting. Some of my favorites. And then Platinum is back. I love collecting Platinum. They're strong. They're robust. They're metal. And then even fusions are back. Some more fusions. I found lots of diamonds. It's crazy. More diamonds than usual and maybe a few other surprises. So lots of Bakugan in store today to start 2020 Squee with the Bakugan Bang. Squirrel Stampede! So many great new Bakugan for 2020 Squee. I really want to get to the Novas, but real quick, I gotta see the Platinum Series, the latest of Dragonoid. Look at the card art, he's just glowing on the front. Fantastic card art with these. And their Platinum Dragonoid. I like the Platinum so much because of the metal behavior, the heavier marble feel. Let's get Dragonoid Platinum out. And Dragonoid Platinum out. You practically need a X-Acto blade and or toothpick to get his horn up. It is so tightly embedded. Hey! So wait a second, why does this Dragonoid seem so familiar? There's so many Dragonoids. How many have we gone through now? Lots of Dragonoids. Oh, there's last year's Platinum. I can't really remember which series is which. Battle Planet, Armored Alliance, Evolutions, so many Dragonoids. Wait a second, this one looks familiar. Ah, so we have seen this one before. It was that Walmart exclusive from late last year. So with the Legends, we have a solid Cranberry Dragonoid of this style. Maybe the Legends line is featuring some all-stars. Oh wait, wait, hang on. Forgot the horn. Look at the fisticuffs too on these. They've got just these solid arms. Some of the best Dragonoid arms available. Hey, I actually had some pretty good arms myself. I go to the gym all the time. You certainly do big armed Dragonoid, but I say these two, these Platinums, have the biggest, thickest arms available. We'll see about that. I'm headed to the gym just now. <laughs> so the funny feature of this one is the back. You can hinge them all the way back, almost giving them a sleeping feature. Pretty interesting. Maybe lay them down, I don't know. But because of that back feature, sometimes they want to roll forward. So you gotta keep them on those Baku cores that help stabilize them out. For a quick marble transformation, I think the main challenge is that back hinge again. You've got to line it up just right so that he can fold up his arms onto that lower marble part. Don't forget that horn. And we've got our Bakugan ready to roll. Pretty good, you got a little bit of chicken flame going around the sides, some chicken feathering. Dragonoid the great chicken dragon. So we can place in a couple Baku cores and see if we can test a roll here. This way. Yep. Not bad as he takes out a squirrel. So if you missed your chance at a very big armed fisticuffed Dragonoid, this is another great opportunity for Platinum Cranberry Dragonoid. Mmm, cranberries. So let's get on to the Novas. So continuing the ingenious trend of 2022 with the light-up Genesis Bakugan, we've got Nova Bakugan that also light up. There, we've got Dragonoid lighting up for just a second there with the uh, clear Genesis look. I was able to locate right at the beginning here of 2020 Squee a Nova Bakugan Dragonoid. Of course, we have to start with Dragonoid. And of course, someone to team up against Nihilus or Nilius, whatever you would like to say. I, for some reason, like to say Nihilus like a Nihilus, but I believe it's more Nilius. You guys can always help me out in the comments with correct pronunciation and lore. And then one of my favorites, Pegatrix. Look at this golden Pegatrix. What a fantastic look this one should have. And another Nova Pegatrix, this time Heos. Huh? So I pulled two different Pegatrixes to look at. Pegatrixes or Pegatrix Eye? Well, of course, we'll start with Dragonoid. Oh, that's right, Dan. Don't forget to flip the horn. Don't forget to flip the horn. I do it every time. So light up Dragonoid in a transparent red, and then we've got another great image. The way these are glowing off the packaging, the Legends line looks great. I swear it's the packaging that always gets me the most on Bakugan. Over on the back there, enough fine print to fill the Grand Canyon. So let's get Nova Bakugan Dragonoid out. And Nova Dragonoid out. 
After starting with a platinum, this one feels a little fragile, maybe. Probably because we had just looked at that true metal. Heavy metal! Uh, can't seem to find the Squirrel Stampede Gym facilities. Uh. So the Nova Dragonoid in pretty translucent red with some orange wings. And if you're Nova Dragonoid, no go. We've got screw holes in the back to switch out a battery just in case you have overcharged your Dragonoid. That's a nice helpful feature. The only drawback of Light Up Bakugan is, yeah, the battery life. I'm assuming maybe five to 10 years. Ask me in five years, is my Nova Dragonoid still glowing? And I'll let you know. So to do a quick marble change up, we've got to flip up his arms up into his wings. That's one. And that's two, that way they are not in the way. And then, we're gonna figure out some other things to fold up. Probably these little front feet. And then folding him back in, getting those wings to clip in, that head to clip in, and maybe that final tail piece. Wake up, squirrel. So let's give him a nice soft roll. Into a squirrel. Sorry, tiny treehouse squirrel. Sorry, tiny treehouse squirrel again. Oh, there we go, that's a nice pop. Look at the red light glow. A nice little light up LED red light feature on this one. Whatever triggers that must be the magnet flip. And we get a nice little glow light up feature. Okay, so while the Dragonoids get to know each other, let's check out a Nova Nilius. Great card art with two Nilius heads popping up from the card there, glowing golden yellow from behind. And of course, more fine print for you if you really like fine print. Oh, and I forgot this special, <gasps> special feature inside each box of the Nova. <gasps> You're gonna love this. You have got more fine print to read than you've ever read before. This is both sides of fantastic reading, such as the FCC statement on whether or not your Bakugan rolling on a plane will crash the plane. So the Nova Bakugan may just be the best series for fine print. Whoa! And Anilia's out of pack. Some slight awkwardness at first on how he's kind of lunged forward sitting. I think maybe a Baku core may help this one out too. At least Bakugan have a guaranteed display stand option with these cores. I guess he's always going to kind of lean in forward like that. His head's attacking front wise. Oh wait, and this might help these wings. These wings actually fold on out. They rotate out on points at the ends. Now I'm seeing a little more Nihilus. Is that the third pronunciation I've just had? Niles, Lius. How about Niles, Lius? Anyone like that one? So don't forget the wing extensions. So to flip back into a marble mode, what are we gonna do here? I think the first step is to get these giant double heads back. Get them out of your way. They kind of flip inside the wrap there. Each one wanting to jump out at you each time. And then you're gonna wanna rotate these side legs. They're kinda funny, they're on the panel wings there and you're gonna rotate them in. And I've had a little bit of trouble with either the left or the right one, I can't remember now. Got them both in and then click down and we are secured. Drop this onto a gate card, it's just a little easier. Oh, just took out the warden. The warden working really hard on his Rubik's Cube today. What? Oh, that's weird. Is that a fail? I rarely see this happen. Just kind of stuck down and no pop. Let's give it a little bit of a light drop. Maybe that'll help. There we go. Nice glowy purple. A nice glowy purple LED look. That was a pretty good pop right there. Nice front and center. Kind of like that roll. So Nilius, another very interesting Nova Bakugan. Now I just have to decide which Pegatrix to check out. Gold or ice? All right, which Nova is it gonna be? They both look absolutely fantastic. Great card art, just different. Uh, I gotta go with gold here, see what gold can do. Then maybe go on over to Heos. Pegatrix, always so, so interesting. So opening up this one first. Pick a chicks out. Probably smart to start with gold first as it's easier to see on the table. Kind of feels like a standard Pegatrix. Like I've almost 
feel like I've seen this one before, just now with an added battery pack. I'm sure it's a little different, but it feels very familiar. Oh, by the way, every one of these usually has a battery pull tab. Pull those out right away, and we've got a golden LED light up feature. Pretty interesting looking right now on her back bum. Let's see if we can position forward there on four legs a little bit, kind of, kind of. A little bit awkward there, but still pretty interesting. So to fold up, what are we gonna do? Probably the head first. I feel like the uh, horn stays up so I don't have to worry about forgetting that. And then these legs, usually we're gonna rotate all these legs in and get them out of the way from these wings. And then I suppose this being the final panel. I think I got it somehow. That was a little awkward. And see if we can give her a quick test roll. And rolling into Tiny Treehouse Squirrel again off screen every time. That poor squirrel. Whoa, that one flew. I think we're gonna have to plan more roll room for this one. Try again. Yeah, a little bit of a forward push with Pegatrix here right now. She goes flying. Nice gold yellow though, which now begs to ask the question, what will be the light up feature color with Heos Pegatrix? I just gotta know. So like I said earlier, this one would be hard to see on the table and I'm not sure if it's even there. Heos Pegatrix present. Got a pull tab here, so there is something there. Oh, and I've got a light up bluish white. Maybe if I place down on a gate card as well, we can kind of see this one a little better. It's, it's tricky to see this one. So if you can see it, there's a very nice translucent shiny white silver gray painted over the wings there. A little bit of aqua on her horn and pretty much what we saw with gold. And time for a quick test roll. There we go, a little bit backwards, but we've got that glowy blue light. So that is the Nova collection in a squirrel nutshell. There's going to be obviously more out there, I imagine. And now for everyone's favorite part, Nova Bakugan at night. And Dragonoid starts off with a nice glow. Peyo's Pegatrix burning our retinas. Orlea's Pegatrix also bright. And finally, a great Nelia slushy. Do we dare roll them all at once? Ah. A little trickier. Ugh, who turned out the lights? It's really dark in here. Oh look, there's the gym. Are you the gym? Ugh. Guess not. So yeah, let's move back to Platinum now with Platinum Nelius, Niles Leas. So Neo Nilius with three heads on this one. I can only see one head on, oh, okay, so I think these are heads coming off here. Maybe lower, well, we'll find out closer. Platinum Nilius back card with all that fine print. So let's get this one out. Wow, this one may be best in show today. Look at this Platinum, where to start? One of the coolest Bakugan I've seen in quite a while, really rocketing up to one of my favorites. Nice four-legged stance. Tail on back, wings up top, and then three heads coming from afar, one up top, and two almost like arms. That is an incredible looking Bakugan. A little bit of pink, purple highlight, scratches up top, some aqua toenails. Looking fantastic. Now I wonder how to even start with the fold up on this one. Where do we got? This is the first time I'm really holding this one. Uh, back legs are on a hinge point. Uh, these front arms may roll in. Look at that, these front arms kind of roll in side by side and then the front head tucks down over them. That is a really cool mechanic. There's a little arrow up front. Little toes. Uh, I feel kind of like that's a good start. Uh, maybe the back tail. I think maybe these wings are going to be the final click in. Um, there's a lot of stuff to hold in on this one. I've got one toe sticking out, one toe sticking out. We got it! We got it! I can't believe I got it! That was really tricky. I felt like that was either going to go all perfect or completely out of control. But we're now in marble mode for Nelius and looking also great. You got these purple scratchy swooshes, a little bit of aqua toes again, all mostly in black. That heavy feel of a platinum, my favorite. Not sure if you should stand there, Tiny Treehouse Squirrel. You've been leveled several times today. Whoops, right past. 
That was kind of a soft hit. I'm rolling really slowly so that I can get this to pop right where I want it to. Not too bad, it landed on all fours a little bit there. I like that there's heavy stability with this one with the four front two feet, the back legs, giving it balance. The marble part is kind of supported there really well. Unlike what we saw with Dragonoid where he was up on his back bum just kind of rolling backwards, I feel like Nihilus Nelius has a little more structure and is a lot more interesting to look at. I love these arms, the way he can hug, hug Dragonoid. Oh, that's so sweet. They're friends. Probably not. But there's even still much to talk about for Bakugan 2020. Squee with Bakugan Legends, more Fusors, Fusion Bakugan. This one pretty interesting, Syndios and Scorpios. You rarely see Syndios and I love the little scorpion tail with the fusion there. Also finding a Hydronoid and a Crackalus. Is that a Ventus? I so rarely see Ventus in my collection. And one more fusion I found was a Dragonoid X Treacherous, which is diamond. Shall we open a diamond today? How often do I open diamonds? Almost next to never. So I'm going to actually open this one today. Why not? Like I said, I have way too many Bakugan that end up in boxes and just sit there. So we're going to open this one up. I can see value just destroyed right now, but whatever. Dragonoid's worth it. Maybe I don't open diamonds because like Heos, they're difficult to see on the table. They blend right in. Pretty good paint though. On there we've got some red and black and gold markings there to kind of bring this character out. Now if you're thinking this guy looks familiar, you may be thinking right. We have seen in the past this Dragonoid X Tratoris. So this Legends line is certainly an All-Stars line providing you a chance to get some of the greats. This one is definitely one of the greats. And I have a feeling the other fusions I've got today have been out before, but I have missed. Usually the fusers scale a little easier to roll. Let's see if we can roll them up a little bit. Legs up maybe first, head tucked in, then arms punching in. Also some really good punchy fisticuffs this year with Dragonoid. Wing flipping in and tail. Perfect, got that one real easy, yeah. After you work with some of the more complicated ones, sometimes it's refreshing to go to this series. And just so a quick test roll here, see how this one rolls and pops. I almost feel like it's gonna light up, but it's not. Pretty good pop with that one. Really interesting, right front and center. Gotta check out Cyndios X Scorpios next. Let's get out. And Cyndios spinning out of pack, of course, landing face backwards. Come on, Cyndios, up front, please. So would this be Darkus? I would imagine, in black with a little bit of purple swooshing. Cyndios' robot head mostly prominent and Scorporios huh? back tail looking prominent. Oh sure, there is the darkest faction right there symbol. I always have a tough time catching up with that. And then we've got the sword arm there on one side and a shield on the other, so pretty nice. Nice looking fusion there, and should be a pretty easy roll up. It looks like maybe one of the easiest of today. We'll start with rolling up these back legs and just pressing in his central body. Head down and uh, tail. Get that little pointer in there. And, oop, <laughs> we get him? We got him, poppy a little bit at first. So let's test a quick roll here. Oh, kind of a delayed pop. Ah, that one's a good one. Look at there, popped open just fine. So a top Fusor to look for today. I keep calling him Fusor. I think that's back from Transmetals, Transformers maybe. Gotta say Fusions. And one more Fusion we certainly want to see and that would be the Hydranoid X Crackilius. Another great card work image of the three-headed dragon there fused together with the Hydra Crackle. What? Gotta see the character card on that to sort that one out for me. So let's open up, see what we got. And out and about. Almost though, because it's in green, feels more like a plant or something, like a something you would see in the jungle, not a dragon. So the dragon look is kind of hidden by all the greenness. It's always cool to get some of these really random ones that are just terrific. Uh, fold up, I think all these headpieces are just gonna like 
come in together and just sit down like a piece of watermelon. Like you could just slice that apart and have Crackalus X uh, watermelon flap should come in last, I think. There we go, and we've got it. And one more roll here, one more roll to give it a go. Where's our arrow? Let's try that. One of the best pops of the day. A nice sturdy base on this one so it doesn't kind of roll over and fall on itself. So that one looked terrifically cool. That leaves us with a quick three pack open and it's another diamond. Grithion Ultra in diamond. I feel like I've picked this character up before in a diamond. I'm going to have to look real quick. And alongside we also have Vylock and Leonidas. Oh, and here we go. I just discovered on my wall. That's right, I knew I see him. A little bit dusty. I've had this one displayed on my wall. There's another diamond Gorithion from Battle Planet. So way back in Battle Planet days. This though, wow, that totally feels diamond. So yeah, I have seen this one before, but I think I will open this one real quick. I'm out of wall space. So there is Gortheon, much reminding me of Optimus Primal being a robotic uh, character like in Monkey uh, Gorilla-like form. That's what I always see with this one. Pretty good looking diamond. I like the giant round reaching gorilla arms, gorilla head up top. He's sitting on his bum right now rolling about. Should be a pretty easy marble roll. I think this, this feels like what we've seen before. And flip these legs and oh that was one of the best, best roll ups today. So we've got all in three now. Slide in some cores now that we can kind of roll onto and then try to figure out which one is Vylock and whoa there he goes. And which one is Leonidas? I can't tell right now. They're pretty well. This one I think is Vylock. Let's give it a roll. Doesn't want to roll. There we go, popped up. I almost expected to see some light. And that was Vylock, yep. That is Vylock there, we're looking a little bit closer. Let's roll in Leonidas. Stuck, but no pop, there we go. Leonidas has popped. And finally, Gorithian Gorilla. Whoa! That was a cool one, I love how I rolled there. So that was a terrific pop. So that's Vylock there, Vylock kind of like a hunchback in a way. He's got his head hunched forward, that's an easy way to remember. Nice little red paint marks on toes with gold armor in a way. So that's a fun little diamond to open. Never open diamonds very often, so it's so very weird. And finally Leonidas, and guess what? Let's see if I don't forget this. Let's get Leonidas' horn up. Again, I, I so often forget that stage. I think it's because I'm so focused on my focus and not the, the actual what is going on. But that was a fun three pack. Three packs are fun, they're a great way to army build up and get three diamonds, right? And one last surprise, the big surprise reveal of the day. Guess, can you guess what it is? Drum roll, please let's drop down. A Decca, a Blitz Fox Decca. Blitz Fox being one of my favorites from Evolutions. I love the fact that it almost looks like a squirrel. Oh, so huge. It's been a while since I've opened a Decca. I don't see them as often, so I saw this one. And there we go. Has anyone ever played uh, baseball or softball with one of these Deccas? That would be probably absolutely horrific as they explode. But a giant Blitz Fox. I should have opened at least a couple Blitz Foxes by now. I know I have this Aurelius one. I think I had a Heos. I know I actually found a diamond. I think we've shown that before. But now we have this giant Deca. I forgot about the great Deca cores. They're so huge. Bakugan Legends Deca core with Blitz Fox there. Let's see if we can give a triumphant pop here. Everybody out of the way. Clear some room. It's been a while since I've rolled a Deca. And oh boy, how are we gonna get this? It's a tough one. Well, not popping yet, let's just give it a drop. It's a really tough one to line up. There's our bottom core. There we go. Now that, that is a finale. Look how large this one is. Total squirrel, I totally see a squirrel, not a fox. Who sees a fox? I see a squirrel. And to fold back, nice central core, kind of very similar to a smaller scale Blitz Fox, only enormous. Deca eyes, kind of like a turtle right now, hiding in its shell. And then, oh, oh, that was not the way to do it though. Ah, okay, let's try that again. So what did I do wrong that time? Arms up, head, 
Then the front panel, don't do the turtle method, do the wing method, or the fluffy tail method. One more time, one more time on this drop, it's incredible cool. And a drop. Oh, that is so much fun. The weight, oh, it is so huge. Let's go through some quick cards real quick. Okay, if you're into the card art of 2020 Squee Bakugan, there is Platinum Neo Dragonoid, which we started with today. Then we went on over to the Nova collection. There's Nova Dragonoid, a little extra glowiness to these. There's Nova Nelius, looking very purpley and dragony. There's Nova Pegatrix in gold. And Nova Pegatrix again in ice. Then we go back to the Platinum Neo Nelius. There we go. This was probably my favorite of today. I really like this one. This one was just terrifically cool and interesting. Then we're going to see Dragonoid X and Tretorus. And I think there's a couple cards for this. One is just a standard one and one is a flip fusion card where they are together. Then we've got a Syndios and Scorporos. And I think that is also a fusion card. And a Hydronoid X and a Krakilios fusion card. An Ultra Gorithion. So that's an Ultra. I get a little confused on who's Ultra and who's not nowadays. Ultra Gorithion, Vylock, uh, Vylock again, uh, Leonidas. I don't know what the difference between these are. I forget. I don't do the game enough. And we finish off with Blitzfox. So what is that? 13 Bakugan open today in 2020 Squee for 23, 13. I think that works pretty well. Divides, multiplies, subtracts, something like that. So what a collection. These have been fun. The Novas are awesome, glowy. True Metal is still just amazing. That Nelius True Metal, look for that one. That one has been fun. If you like today's video, please give us a squike, a squirrelibe, squamit your favorite new Bakugan, what you're looking for. I mean, there's a huge amount of Bakugan on the 2020 Squee uh, call-out sheet to look for for Legends much out there, so we'll probably return to Bakugan again. I always love so. These have been always a favorite on the channel. Thank you so much for watching. That's what I have to say about that.